What is up guys, it's OX83 here. Today I'll be showing you how to make health bar ESP with Box. I recommend to go watch the video I made not too long ago yesterday. It shows how you, how to make a Box ESP. I will be continuing with all the different types of ESPs all together. But once you've uh, watched the video, then you can come back and watch this short tutorial. Enjoy. And I did uh, zoom it in for you guys so you can see better if the quality was bad on that other video. But now I'm on 1920 by 1080 and uh, it's a little bit zoomed in so you guys could see better. But now we're going to be doing health bar. Um, let's just start it here. Remember we are going to be using square again. Health bar does take a square. But yeah, let's just get into it. Um, so right here, we're going to start off from right here. Like right here where this highlight is and what we're gonna do is make an outline for the health bar and the inner it's gonna be like the box but let's start it first we're gonna do the health bar outline which is of course gonna be needed do always do the outline first before you do the inner because you don't want the outline to overlap the inner I don't know if you guys understand that or not but let's just name this local health bar outline and then we're gonna do drawing dot new and then we're gonna name this oh no, no no that's gonna be square and then we're gonna do health bar outline and then we're gonna do thickness we're just gonna hop in right into thickness and then do three after that we're gonna do uh, let's just copy in this and then paste and let's do filled and then do false I didn't do that and then right now we're gonna do color then uh, we're gonna do color three dot new and then we're just gonna do zero 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 so it could be black you could do it remember you could do this with uh, from RGB you could do it new but I'm doing new so it's easier then we're gonna do uh, uh, we're gonna do transparency transparency one for it to be visible and then we're gonna do visible and then always put it false you don't want it to bug out now we're gonna do the inner. Let's just name this uh, health bar. Again, we're gonna do drawing dot new. It's gonna be another square. So this is gonna be inside, but the thickness is gonna be smaller. So let's just copy all of this. Let's go under here and then paste. Grab this and then just paste it like that. We're actually gonna get rid of this color right here. Uh, just delete that. I will, I will explain later. We're going to turn this thickness to 1, and yeah. Now we're going to scroll down into your on screen, if on screen, right here. And I think we're going to just go right here. Press enter twice. And from right here, what we're going to do is start the size and the all the positioning and all that stuff and fun. And actually, hold on, go back up here and then put your color back. Because I was going to do something, but we're going to do that after if you guys want to know. Color 3 dot new, and then I'm going to just make it green. So go back up here, and then just put health bar dot color equals color 3 dot new, and then make it green. So once you're here, just do uh, health bar outline dot size vector to dot new and then from here we're gonna do head to dot head position this is gonna be following with the uh, the box the box size so it doesn't uh, so it looks equal and when you're moving or whatever when they're moving on it and then from here we're gonna do uh, dot y Just give me a second guys So dot y, and then we're gonna do minus, and then we're gonna do uh, like position and y. So this follows uh, your box size; it doesn't uh, go out of order. And then right here, be okay. So that's like that because the it, it's just like that. I don't I don't know if you guys understand what I'm talking about, but it doesn't get out of shape on the y axis. And then from here, what we're going to do is the position, 
and then what we're gonna do is vector two uh, dot new. Then we're gonna grab the box position, and then we're gonna do uh, the x axis, and then minus six, and then we're gonna do box dot position dot y, and then plus. I think this is this is the yeah this is the um, hold on guys. By the health bar. Let me see. The health bar dot size y. I think that's it. Oh no no, this is health bar. That's the outline. Okay. My bad guys. This is the outline. So what right here, this is actually easy. This is not even gonna take much. This is going to be box outline. That's going to grab the outline of the box, which is this one. Then we're going to do, uh, let's grab the position. Grab the position and then let's do a uh, vector two dot new. And then we're going to do six. Let's do that. And then health bar outline. Then let's just do the visible true up here we're gonna do a uh, health bar just do health bar and then we're gonna do size now this is where things are gonna get a little bit complicated but now we're gonna do vector 2 and then we're gonna do no and then we're gonna do uh, 2 and then we're gonna do another parentheses then this is gonna be head position dot y minus the leg position and then uh, here, let me zoom in for you. So we're going to do that. The uh, size, back to... Alright, then right here, what we're going to do is... Let's divide that, and then do another parentheses. And then this is where everything's going to get weird. Just do a game, uh, game uh, get service. Service, parentheses again. Then we're going to do players. Players, and then we're going to do... Uh, brackets right here and then we're gonna do v dot character dot name and then nr pbs and then we're gonna do max health max health and then uh, dot value I think and then we're gonna do divide and we're gonna do uh, let's see I think it's math dot clamp I haven't really done this in so long. Math clamp, and then, yeah. And then we're going to grab this. We're going to copy this up to, let's do it from here. So from uh, game, get service, all the way up to value, we're just going to paste it in there into the, the math clamp uh, parentheses. And then we're going to do, we're going to change this to health health and then we're gonna do uh, from right here we're actually gonna do comma and then zero and then comma again and then you're gonna paste that thing again and then right here where it says uh, in our PBS we're gonna actually wait for child wait for child and then we're gonna get rid of those uh, what do you call it? Brackets, and then put this as uh, parentheses. So it, this can turn blue, or uh, if you're using a different thing, that'll be like that, I guess. So now, once you got all of that like that, which is like a whole bunch of mess, just make sure you have it like that. I'll I'll go out like that, I guess. Just make sure you have all this for it to work all of that next we're gonna be doing health bar dot position I think this is also gonna be a mess as well so health bar dot position dot vector 2 I don't think this would be much just getting the position of the box position uh, uh, let's do x and then minus the 6 and then box position 
box dot position y and then we're gonna do plus and then we're gonna do divide and then one divided by health bar dot size y uh oh I got rid of that dot y which I think should just work like that position oh look at that kind of messed up right there so make sure you just have everything like this I know this is a lot but yeah just make sure you have all that and then from here what we're gonna do is health uh, health bar dot visible equals true and then now this is our uh, team check remember this is uh, this is our team uh, I forgot this is Lua this is um, let's say our team and this is enemy team so you don't want the 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 team you don't want the team to have like ESP on them well it's gonna be on a GY I, I hope you guys are gonna put that on a GY but you could still have it like like make colors on the box on the box or whatever but you don't want it to be on it so I'm just gonna give a quick example if you don't want it to be on teammates uh, we're gonna do uh, health bar outline dot visible equals false I'm gonna copy and paste real quick and then we're just gonna get rid of outline and then boom should just be like that and then right here we're gonna do uh, true and true which is gonna be on the enemy team which you want it to be true you want it to be visible and then here we're gonna do false if it does uh, if it's not on uh, if it's not on screen we're gonna make it go false and then that else is gonna be if character nil or whatever and that's gonna be false as well so make sure it's like that and then now here on the player added what you're gonna do is copy all of this from here not at the bottom bottom but from the core team wrap all the way up to this local right here copy then scroll down so what you're gonna do right here where the player added is is that you're gonna go up from here where uh, this beginning is from the the IV you're gonna start from here and then go all the way down to the quarantine the quarantine wrap not from this not all the way to the end because that's what controls uh, the players getting the children you're gonna copy this control C and then you're gonna go from here not from player added you're gonna go from up here and then highlight all of that to quarantine wrap and then just paste and then everything should just be the same alright guys once you've finished all your code make sure that you have all that done and then just start up arsenal just like that make sure you have snaps execute I mean attached and then once you're in game I'm just gonna come here and then I'm gonna just press execute and then when we come in here oh alright that's looks a little weird 62 I actually found out what's wrong right here um, at the health bar that size I actually forgot to add the Y right here so please make sure that you add the Y right here I actually forgot to add it so go all the way to the bottom where player added is go to on screen and then it should be the same shit here just add Y sorry for cursing if you're on a rage or looking for something that's not uh, like I don't know whatever I don't even know what I'm saying anymore but please make sure that you add Y dot y over here at the like position I actually forgot and you should be go you should, you should be good to go I'm pretty sure now just go test so just start up uh, arsenal and then we should just be good to go go over here and execute alright looks like the health bar is popping up 
and the health bar is going down as you can see let's get closer yep works fine look at that so let's go actually get someone that's uh like let's get close to them and as you can tell the health bar is uh going down and the size is following the the what do you call it the box and you can tell that it just works perfectly fine and as you get farther uh what is it called as you get farther it separates from the box so it doesn't uh, bug out and stay at the same location because when you do get farther things get smaller and you don't want it to be all like smashed up together but yeah you can tell it works it works per perfectly fine like a normal health bar but yeah guys I will be showing you how to make a, a colored a colored health bar like where it goes from uh, green to red very uh, like in organized it does take a lot as well so please make sure to get ready for that so go to your in on screen where uh, the IV get children places and go on screen and then we're gonna go to health bar that size actually we're gonna get rid of this color right here if you put a color just get rid of it so that should be at the same spot too where it says right here go to player add and then delete that color of the health bar inner and then go back up to on screen and then right here we're actually gonna do health health oh god health bar dot color equals color three and then from here this is where we're gonna start the uh the little what do you call it this is where we're gonna start the red from green and all of that stuff it actually does take a lot of code as well so please get ready for this we are actually gonna be doing this from rgb as well so we're gonna do color three and then we're gonna do from rgb so right here we're gonna do uh, 255 and then minus that 225 that 255 and then we're gonna do divide and then we're gonna do game get service and then players players and then we're gonna get the character so v dot character dot name and we're gonna do n r p b s and then we're gonna do brackets max health and then we're gonna do we're gonna grab the value value and then we're gonna do we're gonna do this again so we're gonna grab all of that we're gonna go to the health and the value just copy that and then just paste that over here and then we're gonna change the max health to health and then we're gonna go to value over here it says value and then uh, from here we're gonna do uh, we're gonna actually go for here and then do a comma and then two five five and then divide and then we're gonna do bracket I mean parentheses and then copy that thing again I mean paste that thing again with uh, the max health value and then we're gonna do divide by and then do paste it again and then replace this with health health and then you're gonna keep that and then right here you're gonna do comma and then zero it should just look all like that again I'm gonna go slowly zoom all the way in this is what it should look like from here all of that should just be like that Uh oh, that was that. Just all like that. Alright, let's go test. Execute. And boom. As their health goes lower, gets lower, I meant, it should just be red or whatever. So let's shoot. And as it gets lower, you can tell that it's getting darker, darker, darker until red. Red is when they're at the lowest point of their health. As you can tell, there's a perspective right there. Ooh, that's a bug. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next. Probably going to make a skeleton ESP. Peace.